students across the district are getting set for the solar eclipse. At Okatee Elementary, the teacher is speaking the kids' language so they will better understand what's going to happen on Monday. The moon is kind of photobombing, right? Has anybody ever seen a photobomb before? Yes. The kids use marbles and tennis balls to understand distance and how the moon, sun, and earth will move. They also use lights to create shadows. I think right now it's very abstract of a thought. And then once we see it on Monday and the kids really experience it in first hand, they're going to have lots of questions. So we're hoping that with the things that we do in here, um, that that real world application and the hands on really makes the connections for them to understand you know, what's, what's going on. The students also wrote down several facts about the solar eclipse to share with their families. When Earth is blocking the sun and the moon is behind Earth, it's a lunar eclipse. The moon travels three centimeters farther away. I never knew that there was two types of eclipses. I just thought it was the solar eclipse. So I didn't know that there was a lunar eclipse. I can see something, yeah. At H.E. McCracken Middle School, kids learn how to make pinhole cameras. If you have too much light coming in, you're not going to be, have a clear, sharp image. And so with that smaller pinhole, it allows you to have a, a sharper image, which you can see the sun. It'll be just like a little light circle. And they'll be able to have that moon when it comes in front of the sun. It'll be a clear image for them to see. The students shine flashlights through different size holes so they could see firsthand the appropriate size to make for their cameras. I'm going to make a pinhole because you can see it closely and very clear and it's not every day that you get to see a solar eclipse. The kids also got to try on solar eclipse glasses. The school district is giving glasses to every student to use so they can view the solar eclipse safely on Monday. In Bluffton, Ron Lopes, Buford County School District.